How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Cabo have mine here playing a little bit of trucking. We are still in our uh, beautiful beat. We haven't traded it in. Not just yet. Uh, the game did update today. And it said that it had some new trucks. Didn't find any. Now, I did add the fender flares in the back on my truck uh i had purchased oh i forgot to change the um the um hazard lights on the top there's a different model that came out which i have on the secondary truck that i purchased i want all the trucks in my fleet to be identical so we have a load now if you notice in the in the dash the fuel gauge changed so right in the middle above the speedometer the fuel gauge changed that's the first thing that i noticed when i jumped in the game that the gauge uh changed i'm leaving the garage right now i just came to um change a couple of parts on why would i want to stop the engine on the truck and to make sure there is no damage to it either. Ah, oh, god damn it. I can't take this load because I'm super tired. Well, that's not a good start. I'm too tired to go on the road. Don't do it. Don't you better not do it. Okay, so we may end up having to go to sleep real nice and quick. We're not gonna make it very far. We need fuel too. I should have planned this out. I totally did not. Uh, trailer should be in the back. Now our load today, not like this. Oh my God, damn it. Our load today is going to be tires. We are delivering tires, although, oh jeez. Nope, that, that didn't happen. We are going, uh, you had to be parked there. I can make it. We're going extremely far on our tire journey. I do believe we are going very, very far. Uh, Albuquerque? Not 100% sure. Guess we'll find out once we pin up the trailer. Da, da, la, la, la. All right, let's check where we're going. Where, oh, where? We are in Fresno at the moment, everybody, and we are going to Albuquerque. Now, I do believe that should be in New Mexico. Yes. Yes. Now, as you can see, Washington is not there. I haven't purchased it, but it is still not available in uh, the Steam library. It will be available tomorrow, June 11th. All right, so we're going to go not very far, actually, because I can see a bed right on our route. So that's our game plan right now. We are going to bed. Real nice and quick, but... Um, and get fuel real nice and quick as well. Now, when I picked the load of tires, uh, I had the option between, there's two loads of tires actually going to uh, Albuquerque. They weighed the same thing. They paid the same amount of money, except one was a uh, long trailer as what we have, and one was a B train. For whatever reason, I foresaw in the future there being problems. I chose not to go with the B train. I can see the tires are still screwed up. The fire truck tires were red. So we don't have the B train with us. Okay, now I want to stay in this lane here because we are going to be uh, going to bed right here. Now for the fuel part, we're good. I just want to get some sleep right away. Because there's fuel everywhere, but there's not sleep everywhere. 
that's the thing. Now we are traveling 1400 kilometers. I'm gonna tell you one thing right now. I'm not gonna be recording the entire thing. I will be recording every um, every 200 kilometers or so. So I'll travel 200 kilometers and then um, stop recording and come back once I got another 200 taken care of. Also, I removed the uh, violations, I guess you could say. Um, I kept getting speeding tickets and red light violations and you know what, when I'm just trying to cruise around and explore different areas so that it's explored on my map, I don't want to have to worry, not that I sped around like a, a, a crazy person, but I still don't want to have to worry about it. So I took him off and I'm still going to be respecting the rules of the road. Now I'm assuming I can't go around back here, now can I? Can I? Can I sleep first now or do I have to back up again? Come on, where is it? There it is. Ah, sleep. We all like sleep. Ooh, middle of the night. Middle of the night. Driver Plotty Piotr L has leveled up. So he did give me a little bit of money on, on that part. Now, the damn middle of the night. Um, I, is my airlift up or down? My airlift was down. Okay, so let's solve that problem right away. I'm just gonna back it out right here. Alright, and that's how that's done. Now, I'm curious to see if I could have made it out there. Uh, eh, tight. Real tight. Uh, I probably could have, but I didn't want to risk it. My camera's a little bit all over the place right now. Okay, now next stop, we need fuel. That's our next stop. So keep your eyes open for a fuel stop. Come on, I got right on red, let's go. I don't think we're gonna get fuel till we actually hit the highway. I can cut in my corners a little bit better than that, I think. I think I'm taking them a little bit too wide. And that could cost me because I could end up uh, doing a head-on collision with somebody else. I like that. Didn't come to a complete stop. And when I'm doing a left turn, it's fine. Okay. And I was going to say, I do believe we're on the highway, but we are not on the highway just yet. So we, no, we don't have a limit of 50. But this is a main road. We are about to jump on the highway and there is fuel here. So 
let's actually worry about that right now since we're here and there is fuel here as long as it's not too much uh, it's the off ramp we're actually not going towards the fuel so we're gonna skip the fuel this time and we're gonna worry about fuel uh, later on I guess we're gonna once we get to it we get to it you know there you go ah, that was pretty good right there I'm happy with that all right let's hit the road gents and ladies and yes we are going to be coming back some more some more Tim Horton I know I haven't removed those yet obviously so I was gonna say hopefully we can get a little bit more speed on this one than the previous ones uh, but you guys don't know about the previous one um, I did a load 100% fully recorded and it took me I don't know I'm gonna say it probably took me about a couple hours to do it it was 12 hours in game so maybe less but it, it, it took me at least an hour to do it and I recorded it in sessions of 200 kilometers pretty much what I'm doing now and um, it was a piece of machinery I believe it was some sort of milling machine when I got to where I was going um, it was a little bit confusing because you kind of got on the main road to go in the town and then it made me do a whole bunch of detours to end up going underneath the road that I originally came in on and I had to abruptly stop because I was going to miss the driveway for the uh, delivery point so I tried to cut into the driveway and there was a rock on the side of the driveway a rock the same color as the ground a rock that I didn't see and a big enough rock to jackknife my gooseneck trailer so moral of the story is I jackknife I didn't jackknife I um I hung up my trailer and by hung up I mean I couldn't I couldn't freaking move it so I tried forward I tried reverse I tried with my uh, diff lock on I tried any which way possible to move that trailer while my tractor was hooked up to it wasn't moving I tried calling uh, for help on the GPS system F7 is a key to call for help I tried calling for help and um, there's two services available at that time and one of them was uh, fix your truck and one of them was call a tow truck well I tried calling the tow truck and nothing happened it wasn't available either in my area or in my game maybe I haven't discovered it yet I, I don't know what it's about all I know is the only one that was available to me was fix my truck. My truck had a little bit of damage to it, but the only way I could fix my truck was to teleport my truck from the location where I was at to a repair shop, but it would cancel the load that I was doing. Now, given that that load was giving me $180,000 dollars accomplish and I had just purchased my second truck which I have a driver on now so that load alone was paying for my second truck because I still owe at least three hundred and fifty thousand to the bank I unpinned my truck I unpinned my truck and I you know last resort I, I rammed my, the, the trailer I took my truck and I rammed the trailer as, as much as I could to try to unnudge that that trailer from the rock and I came to a point where I couldn't I wasn't able to move it and my truck was demolished the transmission wouldn't work anymore the engine wouldn't work anymore I didn't have a choice but to get it repaired which cancelled my load so 
I deleted it. There's no point in me keeping that because I didn't end up doing the load. What's with all this traffic? Yeah, yeah, it was clear the other side. I swear, I swear it was clear. This is uh, unexplored terrain, so it's pretty good. 30 miles an hour, so we're doing 50 kilometers an hour, which is regular troop down. See that? I know. And we still need fuel. Uh, burgers? Burgers would be good. I could go for some burgers. Fuel is what our truck needs, though. Whoa! That's twice now my remote acts up like this. I changed the batteries yesterday because I crashed. Yeah, thanks for putting your hazards on. I was in the middle of doing a, uh, a trip and I just crashed. So I changed my battery remote and now I just acted up again. That's a weird. That's a weird. So the fuel, no, there was fuel here. We're not in that much of an emergency. It was off the main road. I didn't want to get off the main road if I didn't have to. So I'm 100% I'm positive there will be more fuel. I've been here before though. Well, I've been to New Mexico, so. There is a repair shop, so yes, I have been here before. Let's have a look real quick and see. What do we have here? Uh, this is a truck stop with a bed and a mechanic. We have sleeping here. The next fuel is here in Barstow. See, I'd prefer to make it down here. We have a scale station here, which I've been to. I've been all the way over here already. See, it looks like I've been up to here and here, but it didn't go on the cloverleaf itself. Same with here. So the only, the closest spot I would love to stop would be right here. So let's see how far away that is. We still have 353 liters of fuel. That's what I'm trying to read on the dash. It looks like 353 liters of fuel is what we have. Now what's my consumption right now? It doesn't, I don't know. By the looks of it, 218 kilometers, is that my range? It's hard to read and I was supposed to check that on the previous video so let's just have a look at it now graphics brightness full screen resolution graphics uh, custom setting applied high is this good uh, no 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 no, I don't like that. Minus the, uh, the, the background picture there. Holy. No, no, no. Go back. Oh. 1920. Yeah, I'm gonna go yes. Because I kind of feel like that's what it was. 
reflection detail vegetation grass shadow shadow weather weather mirror mirror texture quality is on high traffic headlights yes yeah, secondary vehicle lights light pedestrian no definitely not look at my uh right, i'm gonna be right back all right boys and girls welcome back welcome back we are past the 1000 kilometer to our distance 10 hours and 32 minutes left to go we still need fuel now I did pass one fuel station which was off the main road it's not the one that I was hoping for that I was going for that's why I just kept going on a straight as for the graphics I don't know I, I had to close the game and reopen the game something has gone and goofed up so screw it I, I've gone and just left it as it is I'm pretty sure that says distance up there and fuel I can't read it so I'm just gonna wing it that's what we're gonna do we're gonna wing it we're doing 100 kilometers an hour there's an airplane that just flew over top of me there it is if uh, this game was multiplayer I would believe that be another player I do would believe uh, y'all gonna be cutting in front of me took me a very 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 long time to get that speed like I mean a very long time like at least well, maybe not that long maybe maybe 50 60 maybe uh, maybe 50 kilometers to get that speed we're catching it up pretty good we're gonna pass the Volson motors which is the same thing we're hauling Odds are he's hauling tires too. The Canadian tire with the box underneath it. I don't like that. Really don't like that. That just looks horrible. Horrible, horrible. So no kudos to the creator of the skin for that trailer because it does not work. And there's also the Tim Hortons one as well. That just does not work. It's, it does work. But it's got that huge box underneath. Now I guess if you're driving... God damn it. Seriously? You guys sell fuel there too while I'm at it? We were doing such good timing. We were. We're doing super good timing. Now everybody else is going to be able to bypass the station, but we have to stop, of course, because our load of tires is so friggin' heavy. Look at it. Look at, look, look at them all. Look at them all bypass the station. Stop the truck and scale ahead and activate the icon submitted. Yeah, I know. I know. It's not my first time on the scale. Thanks. Come on. You guys got fuel? I need some fuel. I need me some fuel. That good enough? There you go. That good enough right there? Boom. Boom. Seventy-six thousand pounds. That's it. The last load that I did was 96,000 pounds, but that was the one that I've gone and goofed up and I couldn't get the trailer unstuck and I've gone and goofed up so I couldn't record, even though it was recorded, I couldn't upload that one. I'm a coming, I'm a coming on the road now, I'm a coming on the road now. Now we're gonna get back to our speed, only to stop to get some fuel. I say as my fingers are crossed, because we're getting pretty low on some fuel. Call SOS. We may have to. Not even joking. We may have to call SOS to get some fuel here. Now 
Ah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I did put realistic fuel consumption on and fatigue. I don't think it's realistic or not. I think it's just fatigue, period. So you get tired, period. Doesn't matter if it's real or not. You're just going to get tired. But fuel-wise, we're being realistic. So X amount of kilometers per X amount of liters. For me, for you guys, X amount of miles per X amount of gallons. Four, like four gallons per liter. And cruise control, just like that. Yes, I know, wake up. Rumble strips. I'm awake, we're doing 106, I love it. There's a cop right there, screw you pig. Just kidding, I love cops, I used to work with cops. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. They're, they're awesome, cool people, if I could be a cop, I would totally be a cop right now. That being said, I'm not. Uh, I have played cop, some robbers. Question mark, yes. Where's my fuel station, guys? Guys, we need fuel. <sighs> Excuse me. It is Monday. I am tired. Just got off work an hour ago, an hour and a half ago. I've been working in the pouring rain all day. It sucks. It really sucks. It really, really sucks. But for me, for us right now, it is good. I live in a very active forest fire area. Um, one of the largest fires in uh, northern Canada uh, was where I live. One of the largest in the history. We do have one. Uh, there's a major one in Alberta right now major major one one of my buddies is a forest fire ranger he's gone up to Alberta to help them out and we do have a massive one as of yesterday had burnt 6,000 hectares uh, about make up your mind where are you going it's about um, uh, about 45 minutes from where I'm, I'm living now oh no I no, I need fuel so it's been pouring rain all day today and it's supposed to be pouring rain all week this week which is extremely good because it will drain out those fires and that's what we need we need to be able to drain out those fires because it is um, threatening a lot of cottages uh, the highways were closed yesterday because of poor visibility not only poor visibility but the um, the fire was just too intense for the highways to be open so everything was shut down yesterday they have reopened the fire the, uh, the the highways today so yeah I'm, I'm not complaining that i had to work in the rain all day because it was extremely worth it 610 liters are you flipping me holy crack balls Man, that's an expensive, uh, yeah, exactly. Beep, 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 beep. All right, let's get back on the road. Okay. Just go ahead, yeah, just swoop right in. Watch this. No, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I totally was going to go on the shoulder. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to play it legitimately. All right, let's go. I still have to get a script or a mod and the hopefully workshop has one for is that my mileage 33 33 that's what it looks like yeah we're good we're good just keep going huh man this is slow we're not pulling a lot I just think my trucks just not up to par anymore she's an old girl she's got 3,000 miles on her Okay, back on the road. We got 800 kilometers to go. Eight hours and 20 minutes. I will see you guys in a few hundred kilometers. All right, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. We just, um, we just got a little bit of sleep. We were super tired. We weren't going to make it, so uh, we had to get some sleep. So here we are on a uh, turn-off area, rest area, right off the highway. 
We, uh, I'm just gonna cut across right here just so I can uh, discover the, uh, the the building, the parking lot, the area. Boom! Oh. Seriously, you couldn't grab all of it? Oh, I cut it across right here. That's a cop. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He's not sitting in his car. He's good. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. I've been here. Yeah. All right. Let's get back on the road. Seriously, I got to go back. You know what? I'm here. I don't want to have to come back here bobtailing if I don't have to. So I'm going to go all the way around just so that that part of the map is not grayed out. Which obviously I'll have to come back here later on because there's something else to be done here. Is that, is that good? Is that good enough? Are you happy with this? Yeah, is it still grayed out or is it yellow now? I think it should be yellow now. Yeah, now we're good. Now we're yellow. All right, let's hit the road. We got 560 kilometers to go. This is it. This is our last stretch of this journey. Now, um, as, as per our second truck, our other driver, not impressed. Uh, I just got a notification that he returned. He couldn't find a load, so he returned back to our shop, bobtailing, empty-handed. Thinking to myself, that's BS right there, because I can find a load any day of the week. There's loads everywhere at all times. So he definitely could find a load. He probably just didn't want to find a load, and I'm not impressed whatsoever. That guy, that guy's going to have to step up his game. If he wants to, you know, stick around here. Because, you know, we don't play those kind of games around here. We got some bills to pay. Come on, old girl. Come on. You can do it. There she is. There she is. Get some speed in you, old girl. Come on, you're pushing the uh, 4,000 kilometers here. You, you still got some pep in you. We gotta get at least 100. Oh no, police. We got the police on the other side. Watch out, watch out. It's the 5 -0. everybody. Let's just cut this guy off. Whoa, a little bit more than just the police. And the paramedics. Whoa! Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's why they say keep your eyes on the road. Always keep your eyes on the road. You never know when somebody like me will be coming right at you. Now what the f is going on over here? What the f are you doing in this lane if you're so goddamn slow? Seriously? Yeah, like, do something about it. If this old girl can catch up to you and pass you, you don't belong in this lane. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. He's gonna brake check me. You know he's gonna brake check me. Move. Move. You better move, man. I'm, I'm not gonna joke. You better move. I am going to rear end you as hard as I can. You better move. If I could flash my lights at you, I would. Oh, that's my flashers, my wipers. Damn it. Fail. Move. 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 He's not gonna move. He's not moving. 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 There he is. Holy crap. That took you long enough. Will this be the head captain? as fast as we can go. We're totally overtaking you. Na 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 
and then that. Oh, cruise control. And that's how that's done. Just for us to have to slow down. Watch. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. I am waiting for it. Uh, no. By the looks of it, we're good. Cool. We got 460 kilometers to go, everybody. We are operating a Peterbilt. Don't ask me what the model number is. I have no idea what the model number is. I just seen it. I liked it. I bought it in my one of them. I got two of them. Um, not after this load. But if I get another good load like this afterwards, which I should, that's why I don't understand why my other driver couldn't find a goddamn load because there's loads everywhere all the time. So if I find another one like this, we're going to go for a third truck. But at the same time, look at this guy. You are gunning, man. Your governor is 100% disabled. Um, yeah. We are going to buy a third truck after the next load because we want to increase our um, revenues. I'm trying to text at the same time and it's not happening. People do not text and drive, whether it's in game or real life. Not recommended. Don't text and drive. It's not even texting, it's in Instagram, but same thing. Okay, that's good enough, send that. Send that, work, it's work related. Don't worry about it, it's work related. 400 kilometers, four hours to go. Ah, uh, yeah, just about 100 kilometers per hour. Should be a little bit less than that. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna turn in this lane anyway. This was cop, this was cop all the time. He knows we're cool. He knows we're cool. Don't worry about it. We're cool. Doing 104 on a good day. 105 kilometers an hour. I want 13 speed. I I thought that I had an 18 speed transmission. Eaten. 18 speed. Well, now obviously I got a 13 speed, but I thought it was an 18. Now you guys are gonna slow me down, right? Yeah, you guys. Definitely gonna slow me down. Hold on. Hey, move, move, move. Don't do it. You fuck. You better move. You too, copper. I'm not gonna tell you twice. I'm not gonna slow down for you. Yeah, you better gun it, cause I'm coming for you. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That is how that is done. Flash your lights. They get out of your way. It's like it was programmed and scripted for it. Look at his tires. Look at his tires. They're like a clown tires. Look, they got dyed in red dye. And they got lettering on it, but they're spinning way too fast, so you can't read them. So it's confusing all in all. I don't know what does that. I honestly did not put any kind of mods for tires in the game so some of them do it some of them don't so I have no idea what that's for look in my mirror they're not red anymore all the trucks driving by they're not red and mine are not red either uh, fuel and sleep we're actually good so we're not gonna turn off here we're just gonna keep gunning it now I think this is the first time we come this far but that doesn't make sense because I've actually come this far but we never Yes, we did hit this intersection, but since it's a split highway, it doesn't count as the other side as well. That's why it looks, the GPS is just covering up the yellow marker. We figured out the mystery. Who needs Scooby and the gang? We got this. Stop gun violence. It's not a joke anymore. Stop it. You've been told enough. Stop gun violence. So, 
Three hundred kilometers. We're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna stick to it. Now it's only three hundred kilometers. It's nothing. It's, it's gonna be a few minutes. And we're gonna be there. Lickety split. Sun will be rising shortly. We should be delivering this at the crack of dawn. And I don't know where the expression "crack of dawn" came from. I'd like you guys to tell me down in the comment section. Don't forget, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I want to thank all my subscribers that have been with me since day one and all my new subscribers as well. In the last week, we've gotten four new subscribers. Booyah! That is huge in my books. Unfortunately, you guys have in your settings where it does not show when you subscribe to a channel. So I can't give you a shout out because I ain't got your name. But I still want to thank you. If you've just joined my channel, I want to thank you. If you've been with my channel since day one, day five, day ten, I want to thank you. I've been at this for a year now. And I have over 380 videos inside of that year. And I'm doing my best to upload on a daily basis. I'm always up for ideas join me on my discord go on the about section in the channel go right at the bottom and click that discord link come to my discord channel and shoot the poop come chat it up there's a whole bunch of good stuff up there we need some people to populate that discord channel we need some people and people we need now so get in there now there's a way station coming up again we just passed one on the other side but i swear i just saw a sign for a way station prepare something something or other all trucks right lane okay way station's coming up let's see if we have to stop way station and one a mile are we gonna stop are we gonna stop what do you guys think? Welcome to New Mexico. Yeah. Uh, pull in. Yes. Figured. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Oh, we're not alone. Look at that. We got ourselves some friends. Woo! Now, if you haven't watched my previous videos, I suggest you go ahead and watch them. Where I explain that I have been on way stations in real life as well. I've I've always enjoyed my experiences on way stations. I've never personally had issues on way stations. Uh, I've been I've been inspected a few times, as described in some previous videos, and I've I've honestly never had any issues. Um, I never got inspected driving a transport like this with a 50 something foot there's actually a guy out here that's the first time i see a guy standing out here ah 77,000 pounds did we gain weight thank you sir yes sir thank you have a good day i've never seen a guy standing out there i was that was super exciting there's a lot of trucks around here for just that one guy though. Five o'clock in the morning. We got two hours left to go. We expect to be there around 7.30 in the morning for this load of tires. A lot of people are relying on us. Winter is upon us, everybody. Therefore, all their winter tires are in my truck. If we don't make it there, a lot of people are gonna be slipping and sliding all over the place. And that's just bad news bears. We've been to Gallup before. As you can see, parts of Gallup has been discovered. Obviously did not own my truck because if I would have owned my truck, I would have bobtailed through the entire city of Gallup and discovered every um, nook and cranny of Gallup. So Gallup will have to be explored later on When I feel like just driving around and, hey, hey, excuse me, exploring. 
I might have to make myself a coffee. That's probably not a bad idea. I actually live on caffeine. Up here in Canada, we live on Tim Hortons. You guys down in the south, below the, um, the line, you guys live on Dunkin' Donuts. We live on Tim Hortons. This is our first time in this neck of the woods. Let me just cruise control real quick. We haven't been here yet. This is new. All this terrain, it's new. Well, okay, well, I was back there. Now, this is different. This is not new. We're getting tired. We need some fuel. No, we don't need fuel. What am I talking about? I'm on drugs. Don't worry about me. I'm going to take this at full speed. I'm going to cut across this two lanes NASCAR style. Yeah. And back to the outer lane. See that? Yeah. Pro. Extremely pro. Interstate 40. Let's switch lanes because this guy is being a slowpoke. Okay, back to exploring new territories right here, everybody. This is new stuff. We've never been here before. We've got an hour and 48 minutes of traveling to do and exploring this beautiful terrain. I'm excited for Washington DLC to come out. I've only been to the States once in my life. I'm 33 years old. I plan on going more. But in my one time in the States, I've been to, I've been true, true. I'm French, so I've been through um, Pennsylvania, Kentucky, Michigan, Ohio. No, not Pennsylvania, Louisiana. Been to Louisiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Michigan, and I think there was another one. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, shit. Sorry. I, I was looking at this court. Sorry. I have everybody I have a channel on discord there's a there's a link in my about section so I can stop looking at it get your butts over there right now and we can all chat yeah we can chat I also have some I have a lot of different rooms on the discord and a lot of different channels I should say in the discord server for a lot of different um, aspects and not only gaming there is also other services um, available in my discord channel go on down and join the channel share your opinions share some pictures share some screenshots if you want if you guys have a discord channel I'll join it too if you guys are youtubers I do subs for subs as long as you keep the sub I will keep the sub I don't normally do that kind of stuff um, a lot of people had requested me on Instagram to do sub for subs and I did At the beginning I did sub for sub and it's it's an easy way to get subs but this is what I discovered the people that do this on a regular basis that go through Instagram and ask sub for subs are people that don't keep the subscription and I've caught somebody red-handed that did that to me he months and months and months and months and months and months ago he contacted me on Instagram after a post that I had done and I do believe I did hashtag YouTube or something like that and contacted me and asked for sub for sub so we did I subbed it on his channel and he subbed on my channel so I screenshotted it sent it to him he did the same thing to me and boom he was subscribed to my channel and I was subscribed to his channel now later on less than a few months ago um, I had started doing the sub for sub as well and I posted something else which I don't remember what it was but in that one I had again YouTube caption hashtag and sub for sub hashtag and this and that well that guy again sent me a message saying sub for sub and I remembered him I clued in that this guy he was already supposed to be subscribed to my channel because I was subscribed to his channel from a previous sub for sub 
So with that being said, I confronted him and he said that this time he was gonna legitimately keep this up. So I said, okay, let's try this again because I'm already subscribed to your channel, but you subscribed to my channel. So anyway, he subscribed back to my channel after I called him out on it, only to unsubscribe like two hours afterwards. So I unsubscribed to him from his channel and since that day, I don't believe in the honesty of people. I don't believe that, see, I don't care. I'm extremely easy going. You got a channel and you need a subscriber, I'll support you. Everybody needs support and everybody deserves subscribers. There's, there's a piece of the pie for everybody. We're not going to be major players like Markiplier. Everybody watches Markiplier and this is the best example. Markiplier started off as a zero. Markiplier will never be replaced as who he is in the YouTube community. Never, ever, ever, ever will ever anybody ever replace Markiplier. So, I believe that everybody needs those subscribers. So if you need a subscriber, I will subscribe to your channel and I will legitimately keep my subscription to your channel. It doesn't affect my channel whatsoever. It doesn't affect my day whatsoever if I'm subscribed to your channel. So I will keep it. Since that day though, I felt like the subscribers that I get should be legitimately the land of enchantment 2 and 14. So the subscribers that I have on my channel are 100% legitimately. I don't know how you discovered my channel and I don't know what made you subscribe to my channel, but I do appreciate it. Um, with that being said, I will not normally do sub for subs. Sorry, I cut you off. I know it was bad. On Instagram, um, if you contact me through Discord and you have a channel and you want me to subscribe to your channel, come see me on Discord, contact me and we can discuss that from there. So, moral. Moral of the story, here we are everybody. We are a kilometer away. We are about to deliver a load of tires. Why are we delivering tires? So that everybody can be safe and secure this winter. Of course, winter is coming. You guys know this. Albuquerque, this is our first time in Albuquerque. We missed the train, which is good because the last time um, we didn't miss the train. No, the last time the the uh, the guardrail for the train actually destroyed. Oh, there's a Peterbilt dealership here too. I like it, I like it a lot. All right, where do you want this? We're pros at this. Uh, not so much pro. Come on, you got this. Uh, not sure. Ooh, where do you need it? Where, where exactly do you need it? Uh, yeah. 120 XP. Yeah, let's do this. Proceed to unloading. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Let me back up because I'm hitting the guardrail already. Is my airlift down? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Why does my airlift go down? I did not put the automatic airlift. Nobody better be coming here. This is my road now. Hold on. A bit more. See, the airlift went down again. No. No, it's, it's not down. This is just a question of jackknifing. Can I jackknife it from there? Oh yeah, I can do that. Shut up. I got this. Don't tell me what to do. I think I got this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, we got this. Shut up. We're gonna, we're gonna get this. Don't tell me what to do. I can't see anything. 
I think I'm lined up for it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're not we're not that far off. Hold on, let me line myself up just a bit. And that's the bad side. You never back up a trailer on that side. Nope, nope. Other side, other side, other side. Yeah, just like this. Pretty much the first try. Look at us go. Damn, it's like I've done this once or twice before. Never on that side, not gonna lie. This is crooked as hell. You know what? Not not as bad as expected. Not as bad as expected. Okay, except for the last part. I just jackknifed the wrong way. Okay, let's just go like this. There you go. I know, keep going. You got this. Oh, that's good enough. Why? Oh, okay. Oh. Synchronizing your progress with World of Trucks. This time taking an hour and 22 minutes Ooh, in real time. Ooh. 608 liters. World of Truck contracts completed. 24 base reward. All in all, $95,000 with 6,000 XP. We are level 13. Uh, nope, we're going to continue because we got three skill points awesome possum i like this one two and three apply this to that and i want to see the new upgrades to the truck what the fuck is gtm i don't know what gtm is <gasps> Ooh, we got the cab we got an exhaust we got heavy duty extenders we got super duty fenders we got double super duty fenders uh, I like what I got. Ooh, we got 510 HP Packard engine. I like the Cummins though. 505, not that big of a difference. I'm a Cummins kind of guy. We got a paint. We got a new transmission. We got some side covers. We got some wheels. And we got a new chassis. So guess what? In the next episode, we are customizing our truck before we go on a load. So that is going to be it for this episode, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the like button. Duh. Join me on the Discord channel. Let's talk it up. I'll see you guys in the next video.